Hi. So today I'm going to be drawing your portrait. Um, but first I think that I have to take your measurements mm -hmm. just to make sure. Um, I want to get everything super accurate to your face shape and like just the general bone structure. Um, it won't take too long. Is that okay with you? <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay. So, oh, I gotta get my notebook out. Um, I'm going to be recording everything in this little notebook. Oh, well, it's not a notebook, it's my sketchbook. Why can I not speak today? Okay, so what we're going to do first is take your face measurements just from the front and then I'm going to do a little three quarters view for here, over here, and then I think that it would be nice to do a profile, um, but it depends. So, so yeah, I'm taking this ruler and I'm going to be putting it up to your face, but first do I have permission to, um, touch your face? Okay, thank you. So, first I'm going to measure from your hairline to your chin, and I'm going to measure you from the widest point of your cheekbones, um, side to side, and then I'm going to break it up into sections from there. Um, so first, just the vertical view. Okay. All right. would do this with a tape measure, but I couldn't find it, so. Okay, now we're going to do the horizontal. measure your now I'm going to measure your eyes specifically the width in between and then its distance from each other and then the distance from like the eye tail to what do you call it the cheekbone the edge of your cheekbone okay I think that these are pretty important measurements so we're gonna do in between your eyes okay and then i'm going to do the width of your eyes hmm okay and then i'm going to do it to the edge of your Did you notice that, like, your right eye is a little bit longer than your left eye? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. But, like, don't even worry about it, because, like, everyone is pretty... I'm not gonna say uneven, but nobody's perfectly symmetrical. That's kind of what makes everyone unique looking. Like, nobody's perfectly symmetrical, or at least 
I mean, I feel like the most symmetrical face that I've ever seen is... <laughs> you know this TikToker? I think her name's like Erica Kim. And, um... Oh, also I'm gonna be measuring the length of your nose. So there's this TikToker named Erica Kim. And... Or I think that's her last name. But you know that one challenge one day... And then I'm going to be measuring the the width of the tip of your nose. Um, she there's this trend where it was like a face flip, where you mirror your face. There was like a filter for it, and her face looked exactly the same. It was crazy. That's the most symmetrical face I've ever seen. And she's really pretty. Okay, I'm going to also measure the ends of your nostrils, or the end of your right nostril, to your other nostril. Okay. measure the distance from over here, over here, and over here. I think that's called your philtrum, isn't it? Can you touch your chin a little bit up for me? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, I... This is kind of a new technique that I'm trying out because every picture that I draw seems to be a little bit off, you know? Like, people look like they're people, but they don't look like the people that I'm, like, actually trying to draw. So I hope that this kind of makes everything a little bit more accurate. But this is still, like, general basic measurements because I haven't done proper math in, like, two years, so... So, I think that I'm going to measure your jawline now. Mm hmm Can you turn your head a little bit towards me like this? Mm-hmm. Trying to get like that <laughs> sexy three-fourths view. Okay. Yep, just like that. I'm gonna turn your head a little bit more. Okay. Mm hmm So I'm just going to measure it this part up to the middle of your chin and then I'm going to measure it connecting up to your ear okay and can you turn to the other side for me mm -hmm. thank you measuring this part Okay, well, that part of your face is symmetrical. I don't really know how you do it. <laughs> like, ma'am, hand over your jeans, please. Okay, so now I'm just going to measure the length of your cheek up to your cheekbone, so your jaw to your cheekbone and then I'm also going to measure that point to your temple mm -hmm. 
Okay. So make sure you make sure to turn your head like this, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to measure that part to your temple. Turn your head. Thank you. I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. And then going back up to your temple. Okay. I told you that you look like an egg before, right? Well, I was wrong. Um, I think you look actually pretty structured. Okay. And then I'm going to measure your eyebrow. So the end of your eyebrow to, I guess, like the edge of your face. And, um, I... I'm only doing this because I always make, I always make the eyebrow too long, and I don't know why, like, just, I know it's a mistake that I keep on making, and yet, whenever I, it always looks too short when I don't draw it, like, super long, but today is the day I will get accurate results, or semi- accurate results okay you don't have to turn your face for this i'm going to make you turn your face in a little bit okay so this eyebrow and then this eyebrow okay now turn your face over here Okay, then turn your face. Okay, 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 okay. So, the last thing I'm going to measure is your hairline. So, you, would you mind pulling up your hair a little bit? Or, well, like, I don't know what you call it, just pulling it back. Okay, thank you. You do have a nice hairline, I will tell you that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Your forehead is, like, really well-proportioned to your face. Has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> well, it is. Okay. I think that's the last measurement that we're going to do. This looks good. So, give me a second. I'm going to measure everything out and then I guess we can move on to actually sketching your portrait. Well, now that I have reviewed everything that I need to know, I think that it is sketching time. Um, would you rather me put your face into a three-fourths view or like a a front view or do you not really care okay a frontal view got it with these kind of tiny pencils but I don't know they it, what bothers me is that there's no eraser I mean there is but it's tiny
By the way, what did you do with your hair today? It looks really pretty. don't move yet. <laughs> I still have to get the general shape down. Okay. see you a little bit better. Okay. So, how are you today? You don't have to answer that question if you don't want to. I just don't want you to, like, be bored while you're just sitting there. have like a cute natural little blush on like the center area of your face. <laughs> I really like it. Yeah, I mean like, I feel like this is just kind of exposing me to be an e-girl stan. Um, but they're cute, they're cute. I don't know, I just really like that style of makeup and like their styling and then like, I don't know, I just think that they make themselves look like anime characters and I'm here for it. Speaking of anime, I got into Jujutsu Kaisen lately 
Um, Kojo is my bae, but he is also like everyone else's, so... Yeah, I just think that he's... I don't know, maybe I'm just- I just like people with god complexes, not actual ones. But once an anime, it's fine. What about you? Mhm. Mm yeah, they do seem like your type. I should have known, I should have known. I feel like I'm sketching kind of aggressive today. I don't know why. I think it might be because like we just got out of school or out of like we're tr we're going into the weekend, and I'm just like releasing all of my pent up frustration onto this. So thank you for being my test subject. <laughs> Can you look at me for a second? Thank you. I just wanted to know kind of more of your eye shape. They kind of like droop a little bit downwards, I would say. Yeah, I know that like the the whole trend is to be very feline, but I feel like there's a time and a place for that. And I've always really loved kind of droopy eyes. They look very sleepy and very soft. Like an anime character, you knew I was gonna say that. to do this with me in like the middle of the night. It's pretty short notice. Yeah, I'm not striving for complete accuracy here. I'm mostly just practicing facial proportions. Mm -hmm. So, like, you know, I'm trying to get the at least like the measurements right when they're like related to each other on your whole face. That didn't really make sense, did it? I'm just trying to make you look like you. <laughs> to accentuate the bags under your eyes. <laughs> okay, I know that it's- well, is it popular now? I don't know, I just feel like bags are just so- so nice to have. Well, like, not the sleep deprivation, but just if you have natural bags, I feel like you should rock it. Like, I unfortunately don't really have that, so I have to draw in my own. I feel like 
this process really does help, like the measuring you beforehand. Just, even if I'm not using like the exact same measurements, I do feel like I do like I get a sense of the the general positioning of your facial features better. This is really fun. Since this is a sketch, don't expect that much from it. I'm not... Well, I do want you to like it. That's the thing. But it's okay if you don't. if you fall asleep to this. Um, I think I got most of your features down. Mm, you're so pretty. Like gonna do the sign of no. Um, I think I'm going to end this picture around your neck. You know what? I feel like you could rock a mullet. That was just a random thing that popped into my head, but I feel like you would look really good in a mullet. Yeah, not everyone can pull it off, but I feel like you can. Taking like all of my willpower to not wing. <laughs> Have to actually use the measurements. Yeah, I think that they kind of did help though, yeah, not gonna lie. Kind of making a little bit more depth. Uh, oh god, this looks so messy. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, I'm just- I'm just saying that because I feel like I could have done this better. But isn't that the mantra for like every person who draws? drawing has personality like I don't know just the general vibe of it I always draw people super tired looking um, but it is pretty late This sketch is pretty much finished. I'm happy with it. Do you really want to see it? I'm not sure if you... Okay. Promise not to, like, judge me. 